Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a rain balloon fish tail. So first you're going to make it like a figure eight. So it should look like a figure eight. And then you're going to put one on, you should put like that. And then it should look like this, okay? And now you're going to take your next color and then you're going to put it on top like that. So it should look like this. And then you're going to take another color, and then you're going to put it on top of your second color, like this. And then you're going to take your bottom one, pull it up, and leave it. You're going to take your other one and pull it up, like that. Oops, sorry. Like that. Make sure you take the one that was on the bottom so it doesn't get mixed up when you're done. So it should look like that. It should look like that. And then you're going to take your next color. I don't really care what color you take, but you're going to take your next color. And then you're going to put it on like that. And then you're going to take the one that was on the bottom again. And you're going to leave it, and you're going to do the same thing here. So, and then you're going to bring them from the, to the bottom, so that way you'll have enough room. It'll start looking like a fish tail once you find the, once you, so once you start doing it more. It should look like this. And now, and you shouldn't see any doubles. Because some people, I saw many people do the double, and that, is not a fish tail. And then now you should have your third color on. And now you're gonna take your first color, that that's this one. And now you're gonna take that one, pull it up, leave it. And then take this one, pull it up. Yeah. And then you're just gonna take your next color. And then you're gonna put it on. It should look like that, and make sure that you pull them down, and then you take this one, pull it up, take this one, pull it up, up, pull it up, and then it start and still does not look like a fish tail, but it will soon. And now you're going to take your next color. You put it on top like that. Then you're gonna take this one and pull it up. Then you're gonna do the same thing there. And make sure that you don't you don't pull the wrong one up or else it's gonna be it's gonna be really hard to put the feet club on. And now you're gonna take your next color, pull it on, like how I showed it before. Put it on like that, and then you're going to take your bottom one up, and take your other bottom one up, like that. And now you're just going to keep doing that until big enough for your finger. Now don't just stop now, because after I show you how to put on the C-clip, remember, I'll just tell you one more time, remember, pull them down. Don't pull them too round, or else you might break. Pull them down gently, put your next one on, and then take the bottom one up. I'm going to do that, take the other bottom one up, and do that. And now you're just going to keep doing that. And I'm just going to make a ring. And if you want to make a bracelet, you can, but then you have to pause the video a little. So make sure that it's not too big or else it might fall off. And now you're just gonna take your next color, pull that, that one up, pull this one up, and then, and if you look at the back of it, it's starting to look like a fish tail, like that. Time to look like that. And then 
you just take your next color you see how this is just the same thing and now if you this is kind of confusing then you can start it you can start over so then you're gonna take this one pull it up and remember if it breaks don't cry don't just try again so so make sure you don't have make sure you don't have any make sure you only have one because if you have two then you'll just make a big V you'll make a V and then it'll be t and you, you will need lots of fish C clips and then we'll take your next color put it on top like that and pull the bottom one up and pull the other bottom one up and then this will start becoming easier and easier once you get more and more. So you're just going to keep doing that. And you can teach it to your friends, to your, to your mom and dad. It doesn't really matter what colors you use, okay? It just matters that you don't have two of these because then you'll be making a V. And, you'll, and then you'll be like, what? Because only one of them will be working. And then once you take off the other one, it's gonna break. So that's, so make sure it looks like this. It's trying to look like a fish shell, right? So now you're just gonna keep on doing that. Like, you don't actually want to break it, okay? So, this, so next you're going to take your next color, and then you're going to, and then you're going to take your next color, put it on top, like that. And then you're going to take the last one, pull it up. Take that little last one, pull it up. Stretch it out, pull it them both down. Make sure that they're really down so that they don't pop off your finger. Like that. So this is just the beginner level. And if you know how to do this, you'll be able to go to the advanced level. So make sure that you don't make it too long, remember. And make sure that you make sure that they're down, so that way they don't pop off your finger. I told you that before, just reminding you. Doesn't really matter what color you take. This takes a long time if you're just a beginner. But if you practice a lot, and you can teach your friends and then and then and then once you start and then once you're done you'll think it's and once you get almost done you'll think you'll think it's easy peasy and if you ever want to make a bracelet even though i'm making a ring you could you just make it bigger that's the only difference i have to do and then you keep on doing that pull it out one up pull the other out one up like that and then pull them down. And if I'm going to flat fast, I'm really sorry. So it should look like this. Yeah. So make sure, so now you're going to take your next color. Mine's going to be yellow. And then you're going to pull that down one up. Down, down, up, and just make sure that you're not pulling the wrong ones up because if you pull the wrong one up, your bracelet will not come out right. So make sure you only always pull the you always pull the down one, and you keep adding them like. You keep getting longer, and 
If it gets shorter, then you're doing something wrong. And if that happens, then you just start the video again, okay? I know this is kind of hard. And you can all just do this on your loom, but on your loom, it's going to be a little harder. And you can find out how to do, and you can find out how to do all different kinds of ways to do the fishtail on YouTube or on Blu-ray or something like that. See, it's getting longer and longer. But the more you pull it, the more it becomes weird. Yeah, so you don't want it to become weird, so don't pull it too much. Or else it's not going to look good. And then, and if you want, you can make it all the same color. I tried it before. And then you just keep, I'll just show you one more time, in case you forgot. So you're just going to take your one, put it on top. Pull this one, pull the down one up, pull the other down one up, like that. This is kind of, yep, I'm almost done. So, I'll just, put on, I'll just put on one more band and then I'm going to show you how to put on the C-clip. And now you're going to take your last one, do that. Now I'm gonna, if you want to make a bracelet, I'm just making a ring, if you want to make a bracelet, you can pause this video. But I'm just going to make a ring because I don't have much time. So I'm, now you're going to need your S-clip. You're going to need your S-clip. Your S-clip, yeah. It doesn't matter what kind of clip you got. And then you just put it on. You just put it on one side, like that. So it should look like this on one side. And some people think you go, and some and some people think you have to use two C clips, but you don't. So then you're going to. This is just kind of. You're gonna take it off your fingers, put them all on one finger, and then you're gonna take them all out like that. Get your other one like that, and put them all on. It's kind of hard to put them all on, but don't worry, you can do it. <sighs> so they are right. And if you want, you can put them one by one. Yeah, that's the easiest way. So. Actually, really hard when you're on the other one. Put it on. Almost there. And there you are, your rainbow loom fishtail. Thanks for watching. So, this is your rainbow loom fishtail.